Hi there. In this lesson, we are going to talk about wildcard indexes. Wildcard indexes are a new index type in MongoDB, which, as their name suggests, allow you to dynamically create indexes on all fields or a selected subset of fields for each document in a collection. Let's take a step back and talk about why we would want to use this feature. Here at MongoDB, we always say that you should only index fields that your queries frequently access. And that still applies. Wildcard indexes aren't a replacement for traditional indexes. So remember, indexes are great for query performance, but come at a cost. Each index needs to be maintained, and every document that's written to the database needs to update all the relevant indexes as well. Then why would we index everything, I hear you say? And I can definitely understand your trepidation. There is a method to our madness, however. Some workloads have unpredictable access patterns. For instance, sensor data for IoT use cases or weather stations. In such cases, each query may include a combination of an arbitrarily large number of different fields. This can make it very difficult to plan an effective indexing strategy. For these workloads, we needed a way to be able to index on multiple fields without the overhead of maintaining multiple indexes. MongoDB indexes any scalar values associated with a specified path or paths. For fields that are documents, MongoDB descends into the document and creates index keys for each field value pair it finds. For fields that are arrays, MongoDB creates an index key for each value in the array. This is similar to how multi-key indexes handle arrays at the moment. If the array contains sub-documents, MongoDB again will descend through those documents and index all field value pairs. Let's have a look at how we can use these indexes. Let's say we have a collection and decide that we want every field in the collection to be indexed. Without wildcard indexes, we would have to create and maintain a lot of indexes based on whatever new access patterns our application uses. If we instead use a wildcard index, we can assume that certain indexes exist without the need to manually create them. So let's have a look at our weather collection here, which we've loaded into our Atlas cluster using the sample data feature. We've created a new application and during testing have noticed that the access pattern is completely unpredictable and are really struggling to see a pattern where a set of indexes would serve all our queries efficiently. Wildcard indexes give us the ability to index all fields in all documents in a collection. We want to index all fields in the sample underscore weather collection. Let's jump into the Mongo shell and do that. This command uses dollar star star as a wildcard operator, which tells MongoDB to index everything in the collection. Okay, so our index is created. Let's check it out. We're gonna query on a nested document in our collection. Let's say that we need to view all data points where wave height is 0.5. Let's write a query to get that data from our database. Okay, so here we're querying on a subdocument of wave measurement .waves .height. So great, our query used the index, but what if we wanted to query on two fields in the document? So here we're querying on two fields. Let's uh, execute the query and look at our explain plan again. We have a winning plan which uses an index, and we also have our rejected plans down below. So what you may have noticed is that each of these plans is on a single field index. And this is because the wildcard index will generate one virtual single field index at query execution time. And then the planner will assess them using the standard query plan score. 